We have been crazy, crazy busy these last few weeks and I have not had time whatsoever to do any videos. So today we're going to take it old school and I'm going to do a vlog with you to show you what we've been doing. I've got some stuff I got to do. I got to clean the coop. I've got to do some weeding and fun stuff like that. So let's go. So I want to show you the garden right now. It's clean. I weeded it. It looks so much better than it did before. Like it looks really horrible. We have so many tomatoes that are coming in. Pretty sure they're all going to come in at once. Is this baby watermelon not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like, there's another one up here. I can find him. Where did he go? Look. He's so cute. So we've got basil here. We've got a lone volunteer tomato plant that I'm going to let grow. These are some volunteer um, Mexican sour gherkins. They haven't really come on yet. More volunteer tomato plants. These are all volunteer tomato plants that I'm just letting grow. Um, here's a little cute little flower. Come on, focus. For the little cucamelons, they'll start coming on. Another volunteer tomato plant. All of these are volunteer tomato plants right here. They're coming up, they'll be great for in the next couple weeks. Some romas. Some cucumbers growing on this side. All of these are Roma's Amish paste or Black Giant. Here's what's left of my potato row. This row is ready to come up. That row I had to replant. There's some squash coming on, peppers, and more tomatoes all along here. This other side of the garden is the new part. And here's my weed patch from yesterday. And it's actually doing really good. You can see it's sweet potatoes, herbs, parsley, oregano, lavender. Up here are some carrots. I'm gonna replant this whole row with carrots. And over here is gonna be half carrots and half lettuce for this year. So that is doing great. The sweet potatoes are doing amazing, like crazy awesome. This is my first year doing sweet potatoes and I'm really impressed with them. And we are building new rabbit hutches. So that's what those are for. We have to finish those today. The lemon balm is insanely, amazingly huge this year, which is awesome because I love lemon balm. So you might remember we have chicks, which is pretty awesome. We have a chicken that's out, of course, as always. The chicks are doing great. I'm actually going to start letting them out and kind of roam around a little bit um, so that they get used to the chickens and the ducks. Um, they're actually getting pretty big. You can see them in that little movable hutch right there that we got from Layman's. We have these chicks, which I'm going to move to, so let's go. So, it's chicken coop cleaning day. Not a favorite kind of day, but we are using, transitioning over to our cardboard bedding. We actually found this cardboard bedding at our local co-op. They had it on sale for $5 a bag, and we normally get it 
for $14 to $15 a bag. So we got all three of them. We got one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them all three in the coop this year. So this bedding is really good if you wanna do the deep litter method bedding because you can actually keep it in your chicken coop for about six months at a time. If you're constantly stirring it, it's not as dusty as straw. Um, and actually we ran into an issue this year where our straw had mites in it because the mites were, uh, I guess birds were camping out where we get the straw and the mites were in the straw. Yes, it is a thing, yes it can happen. And so our chickens got mites twice this year. Um, so we are switching from the straw to the cardboard bedding and we'll probably end up using it until it gets really, really super cold. Then we'll switch back to straw again um, because mites are less likely to be in the straw at that point. Look at this little thing. Look at his hair. What? You're crazy. coop floor is mostly clean. What I do now is I take a spray bottle and I spray down all of the roosting area and wall with this spray bottle and it has water, witch hazel, uh, eucalyptus, lavender, tea tree, and lemon in it and that'll kill any bugs that are in here. It'll kill anything that's happening um, bacteria wise and it just makes it smell good again. And then after that, we'll put the cardboard down. So these guys are currently in here. They're actually what the rabbit hatches are for. We're redesigning our rabbit hatches. Let me get this open. Hold on. And these guys will go into a grow out cage. Yeah, that's right. We will. And Mama will go into a brand new um, breeding cage. And I'll show you those in just a second. But for now, they're in the chicken coop. Uh, would I suggest it? After doing it, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna keep up with it, that's great. But if you're kind of like a deep litter method type person like I am, it doesn't really work very well for rabbits. So we're actually gonna take them out and put them in the new hutch. Babies will go in a grow out hutch. Mama will go into a new hutch and I'll show you that shortly after I put the bedding down. Okay, so we got the bedding in. Here's what it looks like. So you can see it's a pretty thick. You want it in there pretty thick. And all you're gonna do is come in here and, oh, look at this. Look how he rigged this up. My goodness, my child, only him. All right, so you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna move it around each morning when you come in droppings will come down from the roost you'll stir it up over here you'll stir it up hi chicken and that's it it all of the good bacteria you probably saw in the previous video all the little buggies crawling around so all the good bacteria gets in there starts decomposing everything this stuff is really great the chickens don't eat it uh it doesn't really get really moist like straw or hay would and um, we just really like it. It's a great way to recycle. I didn't put that up there so you could get on it. Queen of the chicken coop. Are you in the big pen? Do you like it in the big people pen, huh? In the big chicken pen? No? You don't like it, huh? We've got some other projects going on too. For example, we are painting the house. So, this is the new paint, old paint. New paint, old paint. And I really like this color. We're actually painting the door like a cranberry red color. Um, basically, 
it needs it, but also because we're hoping to put the house on the market this spring, so we wanted it to look extra special. Here are those rabbit hutches I was telling you about. So they're not done. They will be later this week. But here's the way that we are doing it. So we switched out the wire to this wire. Um, we had the, the square hardware cloth, but we switched out to this rectangular, I don't know the exact dimensions of it, because um, it's sturdier. So this side is going to be the nesting area. So we'll put a wire door on the front and this middle right here will be solid with a hole. So this will be the nesting side. In the winter time, we can change out that door for a solid door. And then this side will be the lounge area, just the basic area where your rabbit runs around and lays and does its duty. So we've got two of those. That one's actually turned the wrong way. And um, these will be our two breeders. Then we're gonna make another one just wide open. That'll be our grow out pen. The day is coming to an end. I just finished pulling some potatoes out of the ground. Um, we actually had uh, half of the row of potatoes rot from rain earlier this year. This other half was looking pretty good. I let it go. I just pulled it up. We got some good potatoes, but not a lot. Um, but I did replant the other row. So we'll see how well that goes. It'll probably be a fall harvest. So now we're getting ready for dinner and we're gonna cook on the grill. And I think I'm gonna make some turkey burgers. Um, Mark has a recent issue with eating beef. So I got some turkey, organic turkey at the store and we are going to fix that. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this little update video. We've got a lot going on. Um, the garden is growing like crazy now. And um, we have some stuff that's growing. I think that we're gonna mostly have a fall harvest. Kids are screaming. Not a, uh, not a summer harvest, which is fine. Um, I'm not gonna plant a fall garden this year because I think that most of our stuff's gonna come in this fall. Um, and then we've got a lot going on with Homesteaders of America. We've got a lot of projects around here that we're doing. Um, as you can see, we're painting the house. We're kind of getting a lot of projects in just in case uh, we were to put the house on the market this spring, um, which we're leaning towards. But if not, at least the projects will be done, right? <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this update video. Hope you have a great day. Happy home studying. Mm -hmm.